Hello guys, welcome to ERG Stitches YouTube channel. Thanks to all of you for supporting me and our new passerbys. You are welcome. Please don't leave without subscribing to support me and also put on the notification bell so that whenever I have a new video on my channel, you'll be notified about it. So today in our tutorial, we are going to learn how to cut and sew a six pieces gown that will not be having any cutting at the half length. So let's go to our cutting table. Okay guys, our lines are marked already as you can see. From my shoulder to my bust point line is 10 and a half, 10.5. From my shoulder to my under bust is 13.5. And from my shoulder to my waist line is 16.5. And the full length of the dress I'm making is 42 inches, then one inch for my folding in allowance. So I'm going to divide all my body circumference with six because I'm making a six pieces gown. So what it, it uh, means is my bust measurement, I'm going to divide it by six. I will as well divide my under bust measurement by six and also my round waist by six. So the my round bust circumference is 42 inches divided by six will give me seven inches. But because I'm going to put my fabrics on fold, I'm going to divide the seven inches by two, which will give me 3.5. So I'm going to mark the 3.5 both on my uh, both on my shoulder line and my under bust line. So my under bust, round under bust measurement is uh, 36 inches divided by 6 will give me 6 inches. When I divide it by 2, it will give me 3 inches. So I'll mark my 3 inches here. Then my round waist measurement is 38 inches. When I divide it by 6, it will give me 6.3. So the 6.3, when I divide it by 2, it will give me 3.1. So I'm going to input my 3.1 here. Then I'm going to connect all these points together now. So I've connected the points together. So at my hemline, I'm going to take 9 inches for my flay at the hem. So I'm taking 9 inches. So I'm going to connect from this my waistline now to this 9 inches with my straight ruler. So now I'm, I'll go ahead to input my seam allowance. If you use quarter inch to um, half inch, so you input a half inch. But for my pieces, uh, skirt and gown, I like, I like using three quarter of an inch. So I'm going to input three quarter of an inch as my seam allowance and connect it to the hemline. I will also input the three quarter at my hemline. So that's what I'm going to do now. So, as you can see, I'm done adding my seam allowance. So now I'm going to go ahead to cut this out. what I have now. I'm going to go ahead and put my fabrics on fold. I will pin this gun on it, use it to cut out my fabrics. I'm going to cut five of these first before I will cut my center back. My center because my center back is going to have zipper allowance. So we will take note of that when I will cut that. But for now, I'm going to pin this thing down on my fabrics and cut five pieces of it. So as you can see, I've pinned my pattern on my fabrics, my fabric is in two, two fold, so I pinned it down and also arranged, I've arranged it well and pinned it down with my pin. So now I'm going to cut it out. So 
So this is what I have now. So I'm going to remove my pin and now use this my fabrics to cut that extra four pieces now. Okay, now we're going to cut out the back fabrics. I've already marked out my zipper allowance of one and a half of an inch. So I'm going to put my center front on that particular line. I have to arrange it to be the center front will be on the zipper allowance line. Then I will trace it and cut. So that's the only difference between the back and the, the center back and the center front is just the zipper allowance. This is the zipper allowance now. So I'm going to just cut this out now. Then I will slit this my zipper allowance here. Open the so this is what I have now for the front. I'm going to use this to cut out my lining. My fabric is going to be one inch longer than my lining. Then I will join the three of my fabrics together and also join the three of my lining, the three pieces of my lining together and the three pieces of my fabrics together for the front. And this is what I have for my back. I have four pieces for my back. I'm, I'm going to join it two pieces together, two pieces together. But before I will do that, I'll first use it to cut out the line. And like I said in the front, the fabric will be longer with one inch. Then I will join the line separately and also join the fabric separately. So I'm done joining it and this is what I have. This is for the front. This is the flip side. Hope you are seeing it. So this is this side. I've, I've ironed it. I opened my seam lines and ironed it very well. So now we are going to input our body measurement. You fold it into two. So our Shoulder to bust point line is 10 and a half. Shoulder to under bust is 13 and a half. While shoulder to waist line is 17 and a half. So I'm going to input our body measurement there now. The round bust circumference is 42 divided by 4 is 10 and a half inch plus half inch for ease, that's 11 inches. So this is my 11 inches here and here I have one and a quarter inch for sewing allowance. So the under bust measurement is 37 inches divided by 4 is uh, 9 and quarter plus half inch for ease. That's 9 and three quarter. So you see here, uh, you see the way I push it to make it straight here. So I'm going to input my nine and two quarter here. Then I'll input one and a half inch here for my sewing allowance. Then at the waist, you see the way I did my waist now. So at the waist is 37, in, at 38 inches. When I divide it by four, it will give me nine and a half plus half inch for ease. That is ten inches plus my sewing allowance. So I'm going to take my ten inches here. So I'm going to add my one and a half for seam allowance. That is here. So I'm going to connect the points together. So this is what I have here now. So from here, I will just put my ruler and shape it to down. To the hem. So I'm going to trim this place off now. Then I'm going to input my shoulder measurement. 
The shoulder I'm working with is 8 inches plus half. That's 8 and half, 16 divided by 2. So my arm hole is 9 inches. This is my 9 inches. I want to measure my 8 and half shape to be sure that it's okay. So it's okay. So I'll connect it now. So the net width I'm taking is 4 inches, this is my 4 inches here, and the net depth I'm taking is 5 inches, I'm taking 5 and a half. I'm going to curve my neck line now with my curve ruler. So this is my neck line. So at this my arm hold, I'm going to come down by one inch for my slope. Then I will connect it to this my neck bit now. So I'm going to curve my arm bone. Half of I have here eight inches. Remember, I have removed one inch off. So the mid is four. From this four, I will cut here. I'm going to go up by one inch. Then from here. I will curve it to meet my one inch. This is because I'm using this to cut the back. So this is the back arm hole now. So the front arm hole, I'm going to come in here by three quarter of an inch. Or I can use half inch. Then I'll connect it with a straight ruler like this. Then from here, I will curve it to my arm hole. You see that it will be deeper than the back wall. So as I'm cutting now, I'm going to cut the back. When I'm done cutting the back arm hole, when I'm done cutting the back arm hole, I'll cut it. So for the back uh, neckline, I'm taking a uh, two inches for the depth. inches so I will also cut it like I said I'm going to cut the back both the arm hole and the neckline I'm cutting only the back one when I now use this my pattern fabrics to dress at the back I can now cut my front arm hole and neckline out so this is for the back and this is for the front. So we can cut now. So this is what I have now. So I'm going to use this now to cut the back and also the lining for the back also the front. Okay, I'm done cutting out my neckline and arm hole. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring my fabric right sides facing each other. My lining and my fabrics will be facing each other this way. To sew the neckline. I'm going to sew the neckline now. So this is what I'll have. I'll sew the neckline. Please, when you sew your neckline, don't forget to notch and or stitch on it before anything. So when I'm done sewing the necklace, it is like this, right side facing each other. I will bring the hem together and sew the hem together. And also the sides. By the time you sew the hem, the, the sides will not be equal. Just drag the aligning to meet 
this your lining armhole to meet the armhole of your fabric right let it meet together then you show the two sides that's what i'm going to do both on the front and on the back so i'm done turning my fabrics with lining you can see this is the hem of my fabric so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to i didn't turn the side the side i'm going to weave it so i'm going to turn the right side then i will place my back on my back fabrics on the front one this way i will also do set this way so i will first attach my zipper here by the time I'm done attaching my zipper with one inch, you remember I put one and a half for zipper allowance. I've used half inch to turn here, so I'm left with one inch now. So I'll use the one inch to sew my zipper. By the time I'm done sewing my zipper, I will join it at the shoulder and also by the side using my seam allowance I added. Once I've cut out my sleeve, this is just basic sleeve. So, if you don't know how to cut a basic sleeve, I will link the tutorial to this video. So, now I'm going to attach this uh, silk fabric to this my sleeve. I've cut it out here, it is on fold, and I have three and a half inches on fold. So, I'm using half inch to sew it to this sleeve, so I'll be left with three inches. So, what I will do, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open my sleeve to the wrong side. This is the wrong side of my sleeve and this is the right side of this, my silk fabric. So I'll just put it and sew it with my half an inch. By the time I sew it with my half an inch, I will turn it to the right side and top stitch on the right side. That's what I'm going to do to this sleeve now. So I'm done attaching the the silk to the sleeve you can see i've top stitch on it i top stitch on the you know the seam allowance is on the right side so i top stitch on it now what we'll do is just we'll flip it over this way then we'll now close our sleeve with the seam allowance arrange our sleeve and so with our one inch seam allowance then i will now attach it to the dress so i'm done fixing my sleeve and this is the outcome of our six pieces gun you can give it a try it's very easy to make so if this video has been helpful please don't forget to give it a thumbs up like comment share and subscribe to my channel to support me bye